Welcome to today's short video. Now, in case you're wondering why my hair's moving about so much and why there's so much chaos in the back of my studio, well, I'm painting, it's hot, we haven't got air conditioning, we've just got this fabulous fan blowing behind me, so we've got the wild hair look going on, so please excuse that chaos in the background. Now, sometimes it can seem really confusing when we talk about those terms, ideal customer, target audience, what do they actually mean and what is the difference? I'm so glad you asked because we've written a blog tackling your target audience which does just that. It answers that question, what exactly is the difference between the target audience and the ideal customer? Today's video, we're just honing in on five key things that you want to know about your ideal customer. So make sure to, to read that full blog so you can get clarity over those two things. There's a link below this video. So welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Sophie Mejia and I love to help artists just like you to build profitable business around their existing art practice. If you want to know more about how to do that and you love the old business tips and tricks, then you're in the right place because that's exactly what we share on this channel. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to get notified every time I post a new video. All right, let's dive into those five key things that you want to know about your ideal customer. So number one, what are their hobbies or interests? So for example, you might say, my ideal customer is somebody who does a lot of reading, goes to the theater, likes dining out, perhaps travel to unusual places. So what you want to do is really think hard about those hobbies and interests that your customer has and then of course go ahead and write them down. Now we have a handy free resource for you. So again, below this video, there is a link for your ideal customer avatar worksheet. And that's where you can profile your customer in detail. So once you've watched this video and you've started thinking about exactly what do I need to be writing down, you can go ahead, grab that and there's four or five pages of more detailed information in there. So number two, what's important to them? So okay, you might decide what's important to them is long-term investments, it's beauty, it's natural surroundings, high quality, gathering memories, you know, whatever it is for your customer. And by the way, until you know, don't forget you are making this up. You are building the profile of your ideal customer. So if you're scratching your head saying, well, I don't know, Sophie, you are deciding, all right? So number three, where do they shop and for what? Okay, now this could be quite extensive, but for example, you might say, okay, so following on this profile, they shop locally in local art galleries, art fairs, perhaps quirky, unusual antique shops where they can get those sort of memory items or slightly original items. So number four, how do they search for things? So online, perhaps again, following this profile, you're gonna say they actually use Google. They use Google search. They're gonna look actually more locally likely because they want to go into a local gallery or a boutique shop, something like that. They might also use word of mouth. You know, a friend says, hey, I got this amazing piece from this uh, unique store over here. Why don't you try that? So word of mouth, I think, is going to be part of the profile. And maybe local magazines, newspapers, even notice boards. So number five, what challenges or desires do they have? So you might say, well, their challenges are just finding that right piece that really lights them up. But it might also be time. They may be perhaps work full time. And so they really have very little time to go looking for what it is they're actually after. So what do they desire? They might desire one place where they can go and reference everything that they're looking for. They're likely going to desire personal service, right? And perhaps something like easy, an easy and quick home delivery. So do you have a much clearer picture now? Can you actually see or begin to see that person in your head? It's really important. I'm really hoping and pretty excited for you actually, that at this point you're thinking, oh my God, this is making so much sense. This is where I've been going wrong. So what information would you now choose for your marketing? And that might be very different to what you're currently doing. Are you actually marketing in the right places? Or is one of the reasons that you're not making a living from your art, you're not making the art sales, is you've simply not actually gone deeper into the profile of your ideal customer. And in fact, you're doing some marketing over here while they are looking and shopping over here, all right? There's a big gap between those things that we want to now close. 
Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, I have a resource for you, that ICA Ideal Customer Avatar Worksheet. So you definitely want to go ahead and download that because there are many, many more questions and you will come out with an even clearer picture. And from then onwards, it's really then down to the marketing. And I have plenty of videos on how you can be marketing to your ideal customer. So I'm just gonna put a playlist below here so that you can go ahead and start watching some marketing and what you should be doing now in order to actually get in front of that ideal customer. So I hope you've liked this short video. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you've liked the content and let me know what your big takeaway is in the comments below this video as we love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.